Catfish Dave here. I'm the catfish celebrity that's not really a celebrity. My videos are real. I travel 60 miles average to where I fish. And whatever happens, I've got to show it. Sometimes I get a little lazy. Don't get out till too late in the day. Either way, I've got to come up with a video. This video title changed probably about four or five times during the process of this video. My ultimate goal when I ride down here is to come up with a fish and go back home with the fish on video. That's what happened today. It didn't happen in a very good way, but it happened. All right, people, Catfish Dave here. It's sometime in the middle of August. Uh, it's late morning as usual for me, because I'm lazy, 9 a.m. Justin Johnson, he's already packed up and went home. I gotta get some sleep, you know. Title this video, Big Summertime Catfish. Now, normally I complain about summer, summer's a bummer. And I complain about small fish in the summer. And a lot of what's going on through most of the summer is fish are on the nest around here. Let me get this dag blasted boat out of here so I can talk. Well, we're in that phase where I've already got the fish, blue cats that were all marked up coming off the nest. And I've just started seeing my flatheads coming off. So we're into, uh, basically back to normal fishing. And as we know, the Tennessee River has catfish. Catfish get big, I'm on the Tennessee River. I would say at least 90% of the fish are off the nest. At this point, we should be into full fishing mode. So if these fish are eating, I'm in a good enough spot, anchored off a ledge in 70 foot with good fresh skipjack, that I should be able to get a decent catfish before about 10, 30, 11 o'clock this morning. I should have been here three hours ago, but you know how that goes with me. Either way, this is big summertime catfish in Tennessee. It is the weekend, and as you've seen in plenty of my videos, this river's full of ocean cruisers. I'm gonna be getting a lot of this. The later it gets, the worse it's gonna get. I'm not one of these guys that throws 10 rods out the boat. Too much trouble, takes too much bait, too much line tangling going on for me. This ain't no catfish tournament. I'm just out here to do a little fishing. I don't need all them rods. The ones I got get bent, that's good enough for me. You don't need a whole lot of rods when you're fishing the river in Tennessee. Just throw out a big bait, kick back and wait. Shouldn't take long, a big catfish should be on. Been here about 20 minutes. So far ain't caught Jack Doodly squat. I got here a little bit late this morning. So I don't expect the bite to be super hot. I do know they're down there. This ain't nothing new to me. There's water out there, so there's gotta be catfish. Catching catfish ain't nothing new to me. Just bait a hook and throw it in the water right here in Tennessee. They'll eat it, as long as they're hungry. Come on, Mr. Whiskers. I know you're there. This is Catfish Dave calling you for an appearance in one of my videos. Well, I got a blade and the bite is really slow. 
Where there's water, there's catfish, this I know. One big catfish is all I need for me. So I've got a catching big catfish video in Tennessee. There's a small one. It takes big ones to make the small ones. Somewhere between these two dams is a big catfish. That one line is just flat sideways and it's going into the other line. Now those two baits might be crossed up. All right, people. I've been out here an hour and 15 minutes and I ain't got nothing but some dink bites. It's a, uh, I don't even know if I got bait left because of all these little peck pecking bang banging fish you know I think I'm gonna change the title of this video from catching big catfish in Tennessee to time to pull anchor because uh, I'm not catching jack squat right here so I guess we're getting well up past 10 o'clock in the morning you know I have had a big fish come slam my bait you know between 10 30 and noon but to be honest with you, I don't even know if I got bait on there. I guess I could check. It might not be a bad idea. We're not getting much water flow, man. It's, it's Sunday. It's morning. That's, that don't help. My boat's doing the little spin back and forth thing. There just ain't much current. So let me see what this Navionic says. I've never fished here. Everywhere I do a video on my boat is somewhere different every time. Cause I like exploring, it's a big river. Okay. There's a hole just up from here. Oh Lordy, there's 82 feet right there. I guess I should have got up earlier, but I didn't. So I'm gonna reel all three rods in. I might have to freshen my baits. I'm gonna drop my trolling motor and I'm gonna cruise up river, man. Cruise right along this ledge. That's all we got left. It ain't a fish video without fish. Yeah, them little fish done hammered all the meat out of there. That ain't gonna catch squat. I'd say they all look like that. This one here, the hook is turned back into the bait. I would have missed that fish too. Just as I suspected, nothing but a shell. We have officially pulled anchor. And we're on the slow drift going back up river. Well, we're officially on the drift, drifting over about 74 foot of water. The odds are against me because it's this late in the day. I can't get up early, what can I say? But a big catfish I really need to see if I want to continue my status as a catfish celebrity. It's almost 11 a.m. We are here on the high seas today. Is that a fish or am I hung? I'm hung on both rods. Dag blasted. Probably a trot line or something stupid. 
bet you. I'll bet you it's one of them dag blasted trot lines. That 50 pound test is going to be hard to break. I guess I could always change the title of this video to why I hate drifting because every time I drift that's what happens. I hate tying rigs while you're out here on the boat trying to fish. It's already hot. The day's already shot. It's 1124. Am I going to catch anything this video? Probably not. I just threw anchor here for now until I get reorganized. I've got one rod that don't need attended to, which is that one, and I'm going to throw it out while I retie that, because I'm sure I came close to breaking it, and I'm going to retie this other one that I did break. Dag blast it. Dag blast it. Dag blast it. Dag blast it. I'm in 55 feet. Kind of off a point, right out in front of a creek. I don't care where you go, I ain't marked a fish. Nowhere in this river. They gotta be here, there's water out there. We gonna chunk this out on the bottom. On the bottom. Yeah. Woo! On the bottom. We gonna retie this, cause I know I put a lot of stress on it. There ain't no current out here. I mean, there just ain't squat. It's another thing I hate about this time of year. This boat's just gonna spin around and around. That one that I uh, threw out, I might have to pull right back in. I don't like double anchoring, because then all you got is a bunch of rope in the way. Back in the old days, rivers used to have current. You'd anchor the front, and that was it. I'm just trying to get lucky now. That's the title of this video. I'm just trying to get lucky. All right, people, it's that time of day to where I'm going to just keep my camera shut off until something happens. Because if I continuously run it and it gets to that overheating point, my luck, I'll hook an 80-pounder and the camera will shut off before I ever get the fish in the boat. So I'm going to shut the camera off and just sit out here and float. Something happens, you'll know it. Fish on, fish on. He went straight up river. Stay on, stay on, stay on. You still on? He's still on. Feels like a decent fish. I hope I got a good hook set. all that good. He's not hooked good at all. I better net him. Thank you. 
the time I got him in, he initially kind of pulled, but not hard. He just swam towards the front of the boat. I got a little bend on him, and I felt everything go slack where he turned around. That's why I wanted about the hook set. I got him on this side of the boat, and I seen the hook on the bottom part of his jaw, and then he rolled, and I seen the hook kind of floating around the top part of his lip. He was stuck in the lip by the time I got him in in the upper part. That's that mustad demon circle. As long as there was a little bit of tension, it was able to hold on to him. Either way, I got lucky. Woo! I got lucky! Yeah! Another one fish weekend, because I'm a catfish celebrity. Another day of tough, out in the heat fishing, because I wouldn't get my butt out of bed. What this means is you can be a lazy fisherman like me, and you can come down to Tennessee, and if you drop a bait down in the water and spend enough time, you too can catch a catfish in the Tennessee River. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Day with another one. Signing out.